Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have for you some quick fire, all purpose fire starters for your fireplace, charcoal barbecue grill, fire pit, wood burning stove. It's 100% waterproof, non toxic, food safe, 10 minute burn time. So let's see here. Take a quick look at the product. There you go, quick fire, kind of a little pouch. These kind of are just like the uh, fuel cubes for like the little camping stoves. So we're going to try them out today. Let's have, let's see what we can do with it. All right, let's put these aside. All right, make sure everything's in camera. Maybe we'll get a little closer here. Let's see what we got. A little bit closer. And we'll adjust down just a little bit there. There we go. Well, let's see how long it takes to burn. We'll just do the initial light up first. Just see how hard it is to light one. A little bit of wind. I'm sure you can hear it in the camera. Let's wait for that to calm down a little bit. Just a little bit more. Alright. Alright. Wow. The catch is pretty good, especially the wrapper. And it looks like it's burning pretty good too. Let it burn for a second and then we'll see if it lives up to a lot of its claims here. And I said it's supposed to be non-toxic, food safe, up to a 10 minute burn time, and 100% waterproof. So, got a little water right here in the spray bottle. Let's see if we can, well, that kind of went out. Now, I don't know if they're talking waterproof for the reason of you can't get it wet. And <laughs> Let's see. I'll, well, it lights rather easily. So, I mean, either way, seems to work pretty good. Now, let's test out a little bit more water. Well, I mean, it stayed lit that time. Huh. So I guess if it's raining pretty hard, it's not going to work. Let's get rid of this one. Now, let's try it this way, because according to the claims that I see, well, maybe I'll get a little bit more water in here. Alright, so let's see, get a brand new one, and we'll light it on fire. Well, I pretty much went out. Let's see if we can get it burning on water. I mean, it's floating in a puddle of water. I don't know if it's just a wrapper burning yet, or just the actual fuel that's burning there, because it shows on the package on the back here, pretty much splashing into some water, so, and it's on fire. Maybe I had to have it burning a little bit more when I threw it in there, but, well, that part worked, I guess. <laughs> so now let's see. Let's move this out of the way. Let's get this, get it in the camera there now, wouldn't that help? Turn around a little bit. Now let's simulate, since it's supposedly waterproof, and it, so let's go ahead and simulate a little bit of rained on lumber. Like you just had a nice mist and now you're wet and you're cold and you want to warm up as quickly as you can. So with the water on there. And I'm using a regular lighter, not like a windproof or a torch lighter. So I wanted to see how difficult it would be to use with a lighter, regular lighter. So, let's see what we got here. Looks like we're lit. 
See how long it starts to take. So, like I said, it, it says it has a 10 minute burn time, so it seemed to burn pretty good. I mean, they're a little, seem to be a little easier to light than the uh, fuel tabs for the cooking stove. Um, a little bit more fragile though. Um, it says, you know, for campfire or fireplace, one to two quick fire pouches, uh, charcoal, chimney, one of them, and then charcoal without chimney. Uh, two to three. And that's about it. I don't say much more about it now. I know it's like, I don't know exact prices. Uh, I think I paid like 10, 11 bucks for the 25 pouch. So you can get 25 of them for like 12 bucks. So the pricing's not too bad. And it seems to have been doing pretty good with that. Now it's going with the fire. Let's water it down a little bit. Let's see if we can keep it burning like it's raining out. Spraying a pretty good bit of water on there. So it's still burning. I'd say stuff works pretty good. I mean, I've used the fuel cubes and stuff before. Yeah, not bad. I mean, once you got fuel, like wood involved, I'm trying to put it out now. Let's see how much it takes. So, I mean, if you flood it, so say your tarp on your tent flushed out over onto your fire. Let's see how hard it is to light. Pretty wet. Not yet. Let's see if we can relight it here. I don't think so. I think we kind of did it over there. Well, once you get it that wet, I guess it doesn't work. But it did seem to work pretty good just starting a regular old fire. So, one way or another, it seemed to work. A little bit quicker than the fuel cubes for the stove. But it does seem to you know you set it on water and it does seem to light on fire kind of like the claim on the package so um in the comments below let me let me hear what you have to say about it and please like and subscribe thank you for watching keystone survival